Let's look at Instant Track and also Auto Fill, which are a couple of uh, newish features to Myriad. They've been in since uh, version 3.5. And uh, so, what Instant Track allows us to do is to instantly make up a playlist or make up a pad list as well um, of the songs that we've got in our library. And the best way to uh, kind of describe this is to show you. So to set up a instant track preset, we can go to station database settings and to scheduler. Down at the bottom here, you've got uh, an option to automatically hour, automatic hour creation using instant track. So this allows us that when reaching the end of the log, create a new hour using a certain uh, preset. We haven't got any presets in here, so we need to create a preset. So this is making uh, an hour creation, but we can also use instant track to also fill up to the hour as well. But we'll take a look at that in a second. So let's create a new preset and we'll call this one. Uh, we'll call this one the default. So just type in default there. And uh, now it's in there. We can click on the spanner to change the settings. So what have we got here? Um, if choosing an hour for the scheduled log, use this mode. So if our log runs out of schedule, uh, this is what we've asked Myriad to do. And so I would suggest that you use auto fade because that will allow the Myriad system to fade and drop songs so that it hits the hour every hour. So that's auto fade. You can choose to start each instant tracks selection with a certain cart number. That may be a cart number which has got some sort of command in it, whether that command is just to turn off your um, news feed or actually you could have it do all sorts of things like uh, email someone and let them know that you are using the instant track feature of uh, Myriad to uh, fill in the schedule. You can choose at least 60 minutes worth of items and then down here we've got our categories. These are the categories that we set up in the Myriad AutoTrack database. We had our A, B and C list and you can see how many songs we've got in each of them. And then you've got a very, very simple control as to how many you want of each. So we've got quite a few B list songs. So we could say, yeah, we want uh, more of those than that. And uh, the C list, not too bothered about. So we've got a reasonable amount of A, more of B, and less of C. So very, very simple. Just left click into those to change how many of each type that you want. Or you can, in fact, click on that and none will be selected. But we want uh, three of those. So we're going to click in those. Um, so that's our A, B and C list. You can choose an item from your um, selected links. So we'll just say here we want a dry sweeper every two items. So it'll play two songs, dry sweeper, two songs, dry sweeper, two songs, dry sweeper. You get the idea. And you can avoid choosing items from the same artist within 15 items. I'm actually going to uh, drop that off. Uh, let's just drop it down to three. So uh, that will mean that it won't play the same artist back to back. And so you got down here, you can uh, load settings from a preset. You can save this, save these settings as the preset, which we're already doing. And you can delete the preset here. Fill library, that's using fill in the database with categorized carts from the audio wall. So if you're not using if you're not using auto track at all, then you could click on fill library and whatever you've made up in the smooth edit window. You'll remember that we selected uh, music and pop at one stage in our audio in the smooth edit window. You could uh, use that fill library and then the library categories would come up here. But we're going to use the ones that we've got in auto track already because we know that everything has been set for those. So we're going to click on OK and uh, that saved our new preset, our preset default. So that means that automatic hour creation using instant track, when we run out of log, it's going to create a new log for us using those um, settings. Uh, one also one other place that you can uh, pop this information here is in auto fade. And so this is slightly different. This is if under running, use instant track to add items. And so if the hour has been scheduled and the hour is only 50 minutes and it needs to be an hour and uh, it runs out of music before it hits an absolute time marker, you can ask Myriad to go ahead and select some music just to take you fully up to the absolute time marker. And so we've only got our one preset here, which is called default. And so we can click on OK there. And then that's 
set it for if we underrun, it's also set it if there's no log whatsoever. So that's instant track. We've also got the ability to use instant track to fill our pad list here as well. So we can click on that. We've got our preset here, default. We can click on OK. It will go ahead and it will sort those songs out for us. And you can see here we asked it to pick a dry sweeper, didn't we? Every two songs. So these green ones here, dry sweeper. And so it's two dry sweeper, two songs, dry sweeper, two songs, dry sweeper, two songs, etc, etc, as it goes through the log. We can actually see here that we've got one hour, 15 minutes and 19 seconds worth of material here in this log. That's because we had these three tracks here, first of all, that we'd already stuck in before we asked it to autofill the rest of the list. We can uh, save this pad here for later use if we want to. We'll go fully into the pad in a further course, so do look out for that if the pad is something that you think will uh, you will be using for your system. So we can just save those pads and bring those pads back later on. Or we can just click on the play button there and it will just play through the list uh, back to back for us for an hour and 15 minutes. So that's the instant track and also the autofill instant track to take us up to the absolute next absolute time marker.